It's a renewed effort to tackle Baltimore City's abandoned homes problem. It's really about self-help. Councilwoman Mary Pat Clark introduced a resolution calling on the city to develop a 21st century dollar house program that could, quote, revitalize marginal neighborhoods by matching construction ability at the grassroots of Baltimore to production of affordable housing for workers, families, and neighbors. It's really important for the homes to be close together so that you create that energy of, hey, um, this is my house and hey, this is going to be mine and everybody kind of working and getting to know each other before they even move in. According to the resolution, the city could redirect funding currently earmarked for demolition of vacant homes into 1% interest loans for rehabilitation. Once the work is done, Clark tells me the title to the homes would be sold for $1. Mortgages would cost about um, 300 a month. Well, even if it's more than that, that's not, I mean, people are paying much more than that in rent and sometimes to live in places that are not worth living in. And so you can own it and pay it off for less money a month. A grassroots group called Home is working with Clark on the program. She tells me the organization is made up of trade workers and contractors who want to help breathe new life into the neighborhoods they grew up in. It's all about training the younger people and the people returning to the neighborhood. Um, and it's about um, using people from the neighborhood to do the work. Now that hearing is set for tomorrow, Wednesday at 5 o'clock here at City Hall. This is an issue that Mayor Catherine Pugh campaigned on, saying she wanted to bring this program back. However, her spokesperson could not be reached for comment this evening. We're live tonight outside City Hall. Vanessa Herring, WBAL-TV 11 News. Oh, Vanessa, thank you. Legendary.